Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. For those of you who don't know, I had um, surgery on last Tuesday, so five days ago, for basal cell carcinoma, which is skin cancer, and I had a particular type that was very deep and had tendrils, so it was a bit more to remove it and had to have the surgery to have the space repaired. So that's what you're gonna see for a while. <laughs> this video forward uh, is it gets healed. Uh, you'll watch that progress <laughs> along with me. So I'm amazed how much it has improved just in five days. Your face is an amazing healing uh, part of your body. It's much faster than the broken wrists. I did not advance that quickly in five days with a broken wrist. It was months before it, the swelling started to go down. So anyway, this is what I have. You can look at this side. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to look forward, so you get to see both. So today I had thought I would um, skip the happy everything, but I decided I'd rather do it. So we're gonna do that first, and this is the block. So I'm gonna tell you about the fabrics I picked for it. So the leaf block is what I wanna to do today for the um, happy everything, because it's still November and the leaves are still something we wanna see. Maybe you've started raking too many, you don't wanna see them anymore. So from the book, we're going to do one leaf block and yes, I could do it in the yellow. You've got a ye lot of yellow going on here, but I decided I wanted to make the leaf in gray, but use some of the fabrics I have that have yellow in them, gray with some yellow in them. So there is a little bit of, there'll be pops of yellow, and I'm not going to, and I'm gonna duplicate some of the fabrics because that will be, um, I think, more interesting because I don't have a ton of gray ones with yellow in them. Uh, <laughs> I have enough, but not tons. Um, so here's where the block will go, down here, and then uh, next week we'll do the block above it because I'm trying to do these sort of in units, but I don't have the energy today to put together all the applique stuff. I mean, I know what I'm going to do, but I, not today, not today. We'll do the leaf. And I am going to do the background in that dot that I have because I still have quite a bit of this. I used it only in a few places up here, like two blocks. So there's still quite a bit of this and I wanna pull that down into the bottom area too. Remember this is, this is a fabric that I've had for a long time. It was from a project we did maybe two years ago and it was the extra yardage from it or the extra, it wasn't quite a yard and I just never had anything that it could use it with. So I thought, okay, this is perfect. I try to use up a bunch of it in here. Then, then I don't have such a big chunk of it left where it's like almost, almost enough. <laughs> okay, so I got out the gray bin and what I did is I pulled out, first let me just show you, I pulled out these fabrics that all have some yellow in them. And I'll use them at least twice, maybe some of them I use three times. This one has a little bit of gold. Uh, this one doesn't have any yellow, but I like the texture of it and I like the colors with the other ones. It, it just goes with them. This is a new one that I picked up that has some bees on it. There is the plaid, and I've used this once before in the sashing, so that'll be good. And I've used this before in the middle of the Liberty Hill. So I will use all of those. And then for the stem, I pulled out a few options because guess what? I have the exact stem fabric, still a piece of it that I used for the book. And I really like that as an option. There would be, you know, I think that'll probably be what I use, but I also got this gray stripe, which is pretty good, and the plaid. Now the plaid seems to be a little bit more bluey than those, than those grays, so this is probably not it, but I think I'm just gonna go with the one that I used in the book because I really like that. So I will sew this up. One of the fun things was cutting out some fussy cutting. This is that same um, big print that had the yellow sort of medallion stuff on it. And then I did sort of a random one down there. So those three are actually all the same fabric. Isn't that cute? That's kind of cool. I had really had a lot of fun with that. I like that there's just enough yellow popping out with this one. Now I just pooped out. Really, I do not, five days after this surgery, I just do not have the energy yet. So I will do the sashings another day. I will probably do the turquoise like I did around the coffee mug. So here, that is that is this guy. 
I do have a mail call, a wonderful mail call, and I will have mail call for days. I'm going to break it up so that it's not a big long thing. <laughs> I have a lot of cards. You guys have been so, so amazing. Look behind me. I have the ones I've already showed you. I'll just keep swapping those out at the moment because I have so many. But before we do that, I want to show you up on the wall. I got the postage stamp. I got the setting parts cut and actually I probably didn't need to order another yard of that fabric. I either was just like in a brain fog and didn't read the right thing. So I have more, but I'm thinking I might put her, the baby's name on the back. If I'm going to use this for her first birthday, maybe her name is Magnolia. And I believe she goes by, I believe by Maggie is her nickname. <clears throat> so I'm thinking I might do that on the back. Uh, but I got this sort of in, in progress. And then I also did this. Remember I had that one block with the scraps and I said I was just going to use the strips in red and white and just keep going. Like just keep going, 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 going. And I had that one and I had the blue in the center, which I kind of like. It's kind of funky. So I'm just going to see if I can get this into a big lap quilt. Well, wish me luck. I'm going to do it, but we'll see how long that takes. It may be just a little while. I'm also sewing up from this guy. I decided to get the scraps. So this is kind of, well, not that polka dot. Minus this. There. Minus that part. There's the scraps that I had when I was just cutting off of this stuff. And I will, and I have the, the some other gray. So I'm just going to make this one all gray. Maybe there's a piece of yellow in that um, rolling bin over there. Well, you can't see it there, that one. If there's a piece of yellow in there, I'll get that too and try it out. So let me show you, I have this, this lovely mail call. It is <laughs> so fun. You guys, It's you've been just so generous and so sweet. And I feel like I'm like so needy right now. It's like I had, you sent me cards for, um, sympathy cards you sent me birthday cards you sent me get well cards <laughs> it's like everything happened all at once um and it's a bit tiring and a bit overwhelming and exhausting for me at the moment but you know it'll get better it, and i'm thrilled that my face is uh doing as well as it is this soon afterwards i'm just like so excited so this is from okay so this is from martha look at this beautiful card look at this uh, Martha sent me this mega jug of maple syrup. If you are in my uh, community they, for cooking, the Kitchen Adventures, I asked in there the other day, what do we do with maple syrup? What's your favorite recipes for maple syrup, to use maple syrup? Her husband made this syrup. Isn't that cool? So thank you, Martha. And tell your husband thank you. Let me show a few of the cards I got. <laughs> this one is from Debbie. Look at that guy. I love dogs. They're so wonderful. My brother has two two dogs just like this. My brother is Lola and, um, oh, now I can't forget his name, Otis. <laughs> Otis and Lola. And she sent me a Panera's card. Thank you so much, Debbie. And this one is super cute from Sheila. And Sheila's here in the morning with us always. She watches her grandkids. Ah, so I just love, look at the cupcake. All sparkly. And you've also written me such beautiful notes that, you know, I, it's just, it's just wonderful. They're so sweet. Okay, this one is so pretty. It's very folk art. It's from Lynn. Look at that card. It's got a really, really pretty folk art. It looks like a fractor. I just love that. Just make it into applique, Lynn. That would be nice. Okay. This is from, whoop. This is from Mary. They're so pretty. They're just such sweet notes and they're so comforting. And um, I really, really am blessed to have such great friends as all of you here. Uh, this one from, is from Vicki. Yeah, so there's a card from Vicki. I want to show you a few other things. Thank you. Mwah. This one came from Marla. These beautiful little uh, statue. And this one is called Good Cheer. 
but I love the yellow flowers. Yellow flowers I just make me so happy. They're like sunshine. Isn't that beautiful? That's a particular artist that does a lot of different style and it's called Willow Tree. So there's, there's the part there. So that, uh, if you like that style, of, um, they make a lot of different things. So Carla, that was so thoughtful. Okay, Carrie, Carrie sent this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Vanilla, vanilla, it just smells divine. I had to open it. I have to open and smell everything. But do you love these? Look at these, look at these. I love these tea bags that come in these little mesh bags like that. The first time I saw those when we was when we were in China. I had, I'm had i sure that they were here, but I had never seen them before. And we went to China, everything was done in those tea bags. And she said, super pretty card that she, I think she made that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that, all that cut work. And then of course, some yummies. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna dig out the white ones first, <laughs> the white chocolate. <laughs> True confessions, dig the white chocolate out first. <laughs> okay, I have to show you this. This is from Jan. This is incredible. Jan, I'm going to assume, you can tell me otherwise down in the comments, but I think you embroidered my name, our names on there, the Sloans. Look at this. How cute is that? That's so adorable. I am going to, <laughs> I'm definitely going to put him out, but I, I think I'm going to tell Greg he can't step on it because he'll make it dirty. Boys, they make everything dirty. <laughs> okay, this one came from, this has got a couple things in it. Imagine what's in there. If you're not familiar with that image on the front, that's a Starbucks bag. This is from Anna. And Anna, well, she sent me a little card, a little Starbucks card. Thank you. After this video, I'm gonna go get a coffee. But she also made me all of these postcards. Look at these, aren't these cute? So she makes these from her scraps. So those of you who have crumbs and things like this that I'm you know, sewing up, these kind of things, you can make them into actual postcards. So like here's, she calls them trash can cards. So there's like how it looks. She's got a stamp for the back, so it has a postcard. Isn't that one cute with the words? And then here's another one. There she put on like some embellishment. So these are fantastic ideas for how you can use uh, your little pieces. There's probably Tim Tex or something like that inside of here because they're fairly firm and you can actually mail these. Uh, have you ever had like a co somebody mail you a coconut? <laughs> my brother-in-law mailed my in-laws a coconut from Hawaii once, which was just so funny. But if you look on the edge there, see she just zigzagged all around the edge to uh, clean it up. And then there's also a gorgeous red, 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 everything red, red cup so I can get that coffee and keep it in here. I am so excited about that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we have one more. One more and this is from Monica. So Monica sent me a beautiful card that she made. So many of you make cards. They are just gorgeous. Now she sent me some C's candy. She lives in California, so she knows that it's hard for those of us who are not, you know, C's doesn't have regular stores in, in um, across the country. They just have them in certain places and a lot all over California. But you know, you can get them like around Christmas, just like the Christmas boxes. But this is gorgeous. Look at that fall tin because my birthday's in fall. And then she made this. Oh my goodness. I just think this is the cutest thing ever. She made it to keep her wonder clips. So she keeps her wonder clips, but look at this little bitty hanger. I just, I'm just like, I, where do you get a little bitty hanger like that? I guess they're doll hangers. And then she made it from my Morrison Park fabric on the inside. And look at the pretty rick rack. And then she put in some tissues like, so you could just, ha could just hang this up. It is so darn cute, Monica. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are just so, I'm just mushy today. I'm mushy today. I'm also tired. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, I can do so much and then I get worn out. Uh, so today, um, you know, I'm doing videos every day. I'm not gonna skip them, but sometimes I'm just hoping I get a little bit more energy as the days go, go on. And I, I know I will. That happened with my wrists. I'm sure it will happen a lot sooner. On Monday, which is when you're seeing this, in the afternoon, I'm going back to the surgeon 
and get an update on how everything looks. It looks fabulous to me. I mean, I have to, you know, clean it three times a day and, uh, you know, I iced it down for four days in a row. And so I think that really helped um, get the swelling to get to this point, which is still swollen, but it's a lot less. So like I can't smile, right? Because this part <laughs> is stuck. But okay, my friends, on and on and on I went. I love you. I will see you online. Mwah.